Pop. We'll mold, mold um, a tool in it as well. <laughs> oh, sorry? Mold a tool in it. Yeah. I think what I'm thinking. No. <laughs> <laughs> Meaty. Meaty. Yeah, so why not? Go on and do it. How can I see you, man? Mad of Jesus. It's like that. No, brightest. Uh, yeah, it's the same as before. Anyway, oh, hey, oh. Adam's impression is a new toy. SOS. Yo, welcome back. Adam, Nick, Uni Live. Welcome back. What's that on your top, Adam? We'll get in there right away. Rhino yeah. Trade Insurance, Bundy 10. Fantastic. And he's squeezing the nipple there, Yeah, don't squeeze the nipple. Not on camera anyway, people suck saying stuff. We are back at the summer house, which has been first coat painted. I'm already or annoyed. <laughs> already annoyed. Oh, oh Nick, I pulled the cables for you. Brilliant. I asked you not to, but that's fine. Again. Every job. Yep. Every job. Anyway. At least it's, by the looks of it, there's no cellar text around it, but we're yet to find that out. We have fun out. So this is obviously the Copex one and we put the seam in, a little bit of Copex. I'll first of all say Unilite sent us the new Unilite Velocity Pro. I think it's 4.5, 4.5 Rogue. Uh, so we sent that through, that came through really yesterday. I put a picture on my Instagram which you all saw and a picture of my new van, delicious. So I'm doing this all the time. <laughs> and uh, but my plan with this is, I'm gonna give it to Adam. He knows this already, so it's no surprise there. This is, because it's a backpack, go on and model it for us. Let's stand this side. Can actually uh, put it on? Yeah, put it on. Ooh. We'll stand here a bit so you're in the light. Yeah, look at that. Oh, straps are massive. It's going to be like... Well, I know you... Turtle on my back. Turtle, look at that. Right so, what is there? Hard bottom, soft shell front. There's loads of goodies, pockets, all that sort of stuff. But for a rucksack for myself, it wouldn't really make sense because I have that my tool bag. Obviously, I've got all the, the Vera to go stuff, which works perfectly. I've been using the Vita Pro Pack recently for my ECRs. So, a bit of a mix match going on. But for Adam, with him still go to college, to put his tools in it and his tester in it to put it in his back, in his car. Oh, yeah. Hey. Adam passed his driving test yesterday. So, what am I? Oh, yeah, I've got your phone. Yeah, yeah. I know you're blind, I know your favourite. <laughs> Little animal treat. Little animal treat. So you put them in your bag. So yeah, the bag's good for obviously mainly site workers. I mean, you could use it as what we do, 100%. But I've already got my stuff set up the way I like it. For Adam, it worked well for his tester, going to college, doing everything that he needs to do with that. So thank you very much, Uni Light. We'll be going in an in depth overview tour. tour at some point when Adam puts his tools in it. But we've literally just got out of the van. It's raining, it's a dark, dreary Cape cabin with the builders obviously a lot of time cleaning up. So we've got the pole out, we're gonna get the laser out, we've got the measurements of what we're gonna do. So we're gonna cut in, I think we well, said there's 10 sockets in general in total, six down lights. Two singles. There's an outside light to go up, there needs to be two switches unfortunately, because of course someone wants these on a dimmer. So these are being dimmed. At some point we've got to run a armoured not armoured, an outside cat cable from there down and across and then I've got the joyous job which I've never done before which I'm looking forward to I've just bought some of the whisker gel so to join the armors together um, it's going to be accessible still I don't have to do it in this but I've never tried it before worth a go I think it was about 35 quid when it had yeah so uh, yeah that'd be interesting let us just get set up measurements laser up and then uh, we'll run through some stuff so, Okay. Good measurements. Also, before anyone skips all past this, I uh, we got all the prizes in the van to do the giveaway for the twenty k, which was ages ago. So we were going to bring them out, and I was going to set them up in here, but it's really grubby, and I don't really want to get all the new stuff messy. So wait till the end of the video, Adam and I. We've got any ICR after this today, so it's an hour late. We're going to be, but we will take the prizes out, run through what's there. And uh, so I think it's about 800 quid of the stuff, which is nice. So uh, yeah, stay tuned to the end, all right. 
So we've had the laser around, we've marked boxes, Adam's just doing the bank of four. I've unscrewed the bag off here, got all the bits off it, marked all the back of the board, so that can all be glanded in and physically secured with the copex and the armor to the back of the board. That sound. Put the banjo on, so obviously the banjo will earth the metal board, and then I'll just do a fly lead as well from that. So now we need to figure out the mess that this person did by pulling all the cables out. Okay. So I'm not gonna have to get hole saw on it. So I'm just gonna physically put the hole saw in the seat then. So I'll show you over here. Figure out our center and I'll just put that around, mark around it, and then I'll just pad saw it out because obviously I can't get a pilot bit. I know a few people have said in previous videos, I'll put a piece of wood up there or do something or other, but I can't risk damaging the ceiling and it's spinning out on me, so, and also cutting a cable. So, do the old fashioned way. You've never used a pad saw, have you, mate? Uh, I think I have once or twice. Oh, someone, well, we lost my Stanley one, so we ended up buying a B&Q one. Look at that. And of course it's gone rusty, because it lived in my old van for more than a day. What's that, five centimetres is quite big? Is that what he says? Yeah, definitely. Oh. Um, I think that's too big, aren't it? That's yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah, nice block of four. Obviously, yeah. we need to get the Ethernet point there as well. Yeah, where's that going? Yeah. I don't know, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. We'll do it at the end. Yeah. So you can see how much is offset. I mean, as far as the guys where we've been before when they pull cables through, they're at least within a hole, so like all the mess can be covered up. Well, I say these three, I've not got to them three yet. But he obviously made an effort trying to do it. It's just time and time and time again, we had this conversation don't pull the cables through, we've got a kitchen pan, we've stuck them all up, we twisted them out of the way, and lo and behold, oh, I was trying to help you. It's not helping us. Please stop it. You love it? No, I don't love it. Nearly. 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 Um, a few people as well asked why Copex. I mean, I got in the last video. So, how these cables are supported, you haven't seen the last video, I'll put a picture up now, sort of the same layout as this one is. And obviously, it's running Copex through the joist, it's then clipped with saddles to the ceiling. And it's very similar. If you ever watched Jordan's video when he had to do fault finding in a loft, you saw it, didn't you? Yeah and he had to try and pull a cable through. So this is the beauty of doing it this way. So if we ever get a fault in one of these cables, if I pull on this one, you know, you can easily pull another cable through that, not a problem at all. And it is obviously fixed to the ceiling in the copex. It just makes life easier. So if anywhere that you do do lighting cables and it's running through joists and you need to have it fixed, but it's not accessible afterwards, this is a good method to do. Uh, for future proofing for yourself or the electricians that sort of stuff so uh yeah i'm gonna get these on. i'm gonna go around strip all these off also and i've been using these other new little minis yeah so nipex sent me i can't remember what they're called now this is me as usual not being prepared do not cut steel so this means for me don't cut terminal pins because it's how i knacker everything on <laughs> <laughs> um but oh, i can't get the screen on there we go so these um, are obviously loppers, which I have, I use the heck out of these ones. Come on, Aladdin. Right. Day in, day out would normally be, oh my, I'm gonna lose my absolute marbles in a second. Right. Normally what I use day in, day out, you can see the moisture's got to them in the back of my old van. Not my new van. So these are used for pretty much everything. And then equally same with these. Being pliers and also at the same time they've got the holes in it so you can strip one five, one mil or two five. But obviously I kept switching between the two. And then they brought these ones out. So they're also a miniature version, as you can see size wise. But they also have the uh, lugs taken out, lugs taken out, not just taken out so you can strip cable and they are super sharp and they're really nice in the hand as well obviously I've got massive hands so they look smaller but they are a great piece of kit so I've just been stripping the down lights with them and uh, so far so good. He's here! Right so the weapon of choice today is the uh, JCC V50s of Valar 
Expert Etchko, Bundy 10. Bundy 10, wonderful. Can trademark it. So the reason we went for these ones is because of the depth in the ceiling. Obviously these are very shallow and uh, color changing. We've used them before. We love the, st love the stock, but they come separately now with the bezels. So we've gone for a brushed in here. So uh, I've stripped all them around. Adam's cutting all the boxes out still. And then uh, pop them in and I can attack the board and then we shouldn't be far off. I mean, it's gonna take a while to cut the boxes out and then we've got to do it. Not only do we need to cut the boxes out in the shed bit, but it's actually chipboard, mm. isn't it? So we'll chip a new blade in because Adam loves ruining multi tool blades, ain't they? Yep. Yup. And it's a dark corner, so bear with me, sorry. So this is what I set out before, drill them through, drill the holes big enough so I can stick the, the glands back through. So now they're all secured. I will put a fly lead. I'm just going to stick a self tapper straight through to attach the banjo to it. It's not necessary really because the metal gland is obviously glanded into the metal board and the paintwork's obviously been scratched off when I cut a 20 mil hole through it. But we'll do it. It's good practice. So in theory, we'll have measured that through. That should try and do this one handed. He says. He says, he says. Camera. Maybe not. Let me have a wiggle. No second. See what? I nearly said we're getting there, Adam. But we are. We are nearly getting there. Therefore, I'm just doing that one. Oh, sorry, mate. The board's on. So fairly happy. Obviously, we just done a, a, an up for an RCD. A 20 amp to 6 amp, happy with that. We've got the fly lead from the lug, like I said, I'd put in. We put some heat shrink on the R, uh, the R had come in, but it was massive. I need to get myself a heat gun. Defo. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, we're with Bosch. Oh dear, oh dear. So I'm going to go and isolate garage, completely kill the feed, and then uh, we'll have a go with the whisker gel while Adam's uh, cracking on in here. So after those sockets are done, it's just the two gang light switches and then the outside light on here and there's two double sockets next door, light switch and then two of the BT14 bulkhead lights and we're going to have a, once this is in here, we're going to sweep up and hoover up and it's, well, I know most of the mess is actually from the builder but we're like to please, don't we Ad? Hey Adam, guess what? We're getting there. Yeah. Uh, I just want to do a shout out to uh, PSF Electrics. He sent myself the other day i can get it up oh the cool key, key rings key ring, batman key ring which is ace and he sent adam one for his set adam's got lanky woody you Where look we... a bit like woody don't you really yeah well you do king yeah. joffrey yeah king joffrey yeah so well, yeah cheers dude thank you very much for that it uh, goes with me everywhere right i'll run for you the plan of action around here obviously there's a shed here before that's just been left there so Oh. Right, old armoured, which is disconnected from the board at the moment, whisker box, so cool thing about the whisker boxes now, I'll do a, a cool little shout out to whisker box, because they've upped their game a bit, so whisker boxes now, I think it's just, maybe just these ones, is it the uh, 308s, they come with this little cradle, and the cradle sits in, and then you can put your Wagos in there, standing up which is great but for gel filled enclosure ones i don't think it's going to work because i can't I need to fill the gel up gel up above the enclosure and it's going to be too high so get rid of them these were then that like that obviously face up so also little thank you and nice one good one it's a good thing about instagram uh, eco home electrics i'll put his uh, instagram up here I have a lot of these sticky pads from the Connect receivers and he did a video or a picture, I can't remember the other day, and you stick them down, stick the way goes to it, and that sticks and holds the way goes down because a lot of time I've seen, because I've never done the gel fold stuff so I couldn't say, but a lot of people say when you get them in, they just float to the top and they end up sticking out the top of the gel. So sticky pad them down, hold them down when the gel sets, they'll be stuck at the bottom. So that's a cool proper tip. Storm glands, 20S. So my plan is it's gonna go here like I said, I don't need to gel it because it's going to be exposed, but for all I know, this soil is going to come up to here. I can't tell 
you know the future so i'd rather protect it it's a good little uh good little video to to try the gel out for someone that has no idea what they're doing with it where's it gone adam's looks at the instructions so yeah should be good let me just uh place it on there i'll get the armor to cut off and in and glanded in i've got the whisker earthing packs as well so it'll take the earth because we've earthed it this side it's not earthed at fuse board side so obviously we can earth the armored from the supply end here and i think someone put the other day if it's a supply kit we need to earth it both ends but if anyone could tell me the reason why please let me know below but i i, I can't see the point in it but that's my opinion so yeah we'll get this done back in a sec that's all set up adam's going to come out and record while i'm doing it that's my finished product with uh, the sticky pads holding the way it goes down great little tip what i've done for the time being i've just screwed it down because obviously it's flapping everywhere i need it flat so i can fill this with the gel get it level and then once it's dry did re re unattach it unscrew it from there bring it down to where it's meant to be and poke a bit of the armor back through so adam's gonna pop on that so there isn't actually for reading the instructions it's just like for like so whatever i put of a i've got to put the same of b in one to one ratio one to one ratio well done adam but it doesn't say what would be nice whisker if you're watching is um on the side of here if you want to fill one of these is it 308 308 in mark on your little copy cup one times 308 two times 308 or for the other sizes, just mark and reference it, unless I'm just checking what's on the other side. Do that for us, so I know how much, but let's go with 100 mil, so. It's gonna be more than that. It's gonna well, be we know, 100 mil of A, and then 100 mil, it's 200 mil, I think that's gonna be plenty. Obviously I had to do that to practice then. <laughs> you right, so, you want, let's give it a go. So that's the, I'm trying to read it out, Adam, I can't see it now. What does it say? Uh, I don't know. The English bit, yeah. Right, Two component silicon gel. Right. Com component. That was good, wasn't it? Right. Smell like so. You never smell that? <laughs> smell like really. You may be floating around in a minute. <laughs> uh, we're gonna mix, we're gonna mix way too much. Right. There's probably people screaming at the tellies now. Tellies, phones, iPads, whatever. Right, I know this one. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be way too much. Where's my little stirrer gone? He's here. Little stirrer pot. Well, mold, mold um, a tool in it, that's what it. Oh, sorry? <laughs> mold a tool in it. Yeah. Think of what I'm thinking. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it in the van later, okay. <laughs> what does it say? It says mix for a minute, stir it for a minute, pour it. Stir it for a minute. Yeah, and it says put it in for five minutes. It, it says leave it for 12 minutes with a lid off. That's right. what it's saying, so it airs. At first I thought, why didn't they just put 16 minutes? Yeah. Well. Yeah. So fast forward this bit. Yeah, that's a minute, surely. Delicious. Put you there. Right. Adam come in for a close up because we're gonna try and do this both handed. Equally come really close, dude. No. Oh. Uh, so I'm going to pour this in at the same time I'm going to get a picture for my thumbnail let's do it this way mind the way there it's all right. it just feels wrong doing this doesn't it mm. so I mean so the sticky pads are holding the way it goes down at the bottom Fully covered. Hey, we weren't far off. Measurement wise. Let's see you dipping the lens in. 
Yeah, cool. Yeah, all the baubles are caught up, so. Yeah, all the air balls escape in. Wait, Nick, where are you going to connect that one to that one? <laughs> God damn it! Sound, right. It's been 20 minutes, no, sorry, 20 minutes, been half an hour. So, it looks exactly the same. I wobbled to it. Oh my god. So being half an hour, I presume that's that's set and that's the way it's gonna stay. I was expected to get like a solid gel to be honest, but obviously no water can get onto them connections now, so yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? I might have done it completely wrong, I'm sure you'll all tell me. As usual. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna unscrew that, I'll put it there, I'll put a cleat on each one. That's then secure, bang the lid on, and uh, yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. And we're on. So, happy. Obviously that's going to get lost when the rest of it gets cladded. It's hollow behind there, so let's come down. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Adam's chopping away at the chipboard that's in the shed side, with his ear defenders and his goggles on, obviously. And uh, I've just put the switches on, dimmer for an ear, and then Single switch for the outside light that I'm going to put on now. In here is finished, so uh, we're not far off. We'll leave this job. I'm not going to do the Ethernet cable today because I'm running short of time. I've got the ICR and I need to leave myself enough um, leeway in case it's a nightmare. I don't want to go home at midnight, so uh, and obviously we'll do the giveaway stuff then. So stay tuned. Swoped up to the best of my ability. You can see. Trust me, it's a, it's a lot cleaner. Power, we powered up, boards on. Do you want to do the pleasure? I'm blind. Oh, when you turn it on in there, it's bright. The yeah. dimmer. The dimmer. Yeah. Down, yeah. Yeah, man. That's right. Of course, I'm fish right here. Yeah, cheers, mate. Outside lights on. Adam's done shed next door. So I won't bore anyone with any more of this. The next time you see us in probably five seconds, we will be doing the ICL property and we'll get all the stuff out and through the giveaway. Soon as that, yeah, right. Right, unfortunately with the ICL we had to do, Adam was holding the camera, thank you. And uh, we turned up, we've got two keys from the estate agents, open the front door, the second door wouldn't open, so we're at my mate's unit. Where we're actually filming tomorrow, which will be the video in two days after this, because this should come out on Tuesday. Tuesday. Right, I'll run through the stuff. Right, so first of all, we've got the Rogue 1.5 handbag. So all the stuff I'm going to show you, I own everything of this. I highly rate it. That's the reason I got in contact with the company to get them. Fan bag, we use ours all the time. I keep a GoPro in it. Cans of Monster. Some little Maryland for Adam. So that's the first one. So I'll do all the prices individually. Um, I won't open it up because I've just opened it out of the box. So, fan bag. Right, the next one is the Mega, the DCM310. 310. Uh, the Earth Clamp here, so I've also got one of these. I think this is the version a bit better. Yeah, it is. Of course it is, Adam. Of course, it's one. So, thank you very much, Mega. Sweet as. So, right, next one is a Brax uh, core set. So, this is the one I brought from Elex, wasn't it? We yeah. brought it from Elex when we went for just before lockdown, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So was it Manchester? Seen, yeah, so yeah. you've all seen me do a video with this a few times. Uh, reach out to the guys, I sent the core set and you get yourself a ruler and a bottle opener as well. So, awesome bit of kit. Right, next one is the Uni Light, the IR625R. That was right, wasn't it? IR, IL? IL, 625R. Just say inspection light. Inspe inspection light, Adam. Yeah. Right, okay. It's way easier. Uh, this is the one I've got, you've got one. And you can also get yourself a little uh, flask as well. Straight open up, mate. So if anyone owns a van bag, the 4.5 Unilite Velocity bag, this slots in the side nicely. Okay, last one is Whisker. So with Whisker we've got a variety of few things. We've got a Chili's water bottle, and I'll show you this, it's pretty good actually. It's a Whisker one. Turn it a bit, yeah. Very cool. So in here you've just got a few assorted things. So we've got the inserts for the, the grommets for the different size cables and flexes. The next bit we've got the whisker fire rate grommets. 
the tails. So we use them all the time. Classic 20mm black stuffing glands, nice. Uh, loads of pencils, those are big builders pencils which are nice. A couple of packets of the whisker um, stuffing gland kit, I'm trying to open it up without seeing it, which is them. There's three of them in there. I've actually kept a few, we're going to do some stuff on Instagram on the ad. Yeah. And then a big box of the Combi 206s, full box. With the way it goes in them. So uh, yeah, that's that. So what we, and also I'll do a prize as well. I'll give you all, or should I give everyone Adam? Not, not everyone, one person. You can't give them me, so yeah. Oh God. <laughs> so what I'll do, you put the camera at me please Adam, thank you. Don't swear at me. What I'll do, I'll send a few of my stickers. Every person that wins so much, I'll count the stickers in and then I'll do a prize as well, just as a, a, la a last place prize, um, a couple of stickers and whatnot. So, uh, what have you got to do to enter? What have we got to do to enter, Adam? We have to go on our Instagram. I know a lot of people that don't have Instagram moan on YouTube because they have Instagram, but it literally takes three seconds to send a count. Well, got to follow me, got to follow Adam. There you go, mate. You're welcome. Um, obviously, all the companies here that are list below in the description, you've got to follow their pages. And then on the picture, and I'll put the picture up here or here or wherever it is. Uh, the moment this video drops, I'll put that on Instagram. You've got to go across it, like the picture, uh, tag two friends, and as simple as that. And I'll let it run for two weeks. Um, and it is UK and Ireland only, because I can't afford to, especially the, the, the core set, to post that worldwide. So um, best of luck, guys, and Adam will see you soon. What you say, Adam? Bye. Bye.